Hey, what's up guys? Baker here. Coming at you with another tutorial. Uh, we got depth of field this time, and it's uh, uh, advanced depth of field, and the reason why I say that is because it's not just like 2D masking with a blur. Uh, the it's called focal distance is actually changing. So if you look at this example, take a look at this left building or even this uh, floor right here. You can actually see it. It's uh, it's moving the distance, right? So pretty cool stuff. It's uh, gonna be a long tutorial. It's gonna be kind of advanced, but we'll get through it. And I am a bit sick, but whatever. Let's do this. So basically, you're gonna have a clip, right? Try this in your comp and. Uh, what you want is a clip that's pretty much static or close to being static. So what I did is added Twixter and right about, I don't know, somewhere around here. So let's set up our frame rate, 59.94. And uh, right around here, I'm going to set the speed keyframe, move forward, and set it down. I use 0 0.5. So that's extremely slow. So he's basically not even moving. And uh, you'll see why that is uh, useful. And then um, I did the little CC explosion with the uh, CC like color correction change. So you can have those two layers set up. But basically what you want to do is duplicate your layer. So we'll go to edit, duplicate, and then pre-compose that. And we'll move all the attributes, and we'll we will call this uh, depth mat, or not mat. Sorry, it just should, it shouldn't matter, but depth mat. There we go. So we'll go into here, and for some reason we have two clips. We don't need that. Not sure why it does that, but so we got this clip, and he's running, and that. Okay. So what we need to do is set up a grayscale like drawing of uh, that represents how far away things are so first step is create a new solid and just go ahead and keep it how it is and that will be the bottom you want to start with what's in the furthest away because we'll be layering on top of each other so the next solid I'll just change the color to like a red turn the eye off pull, have it selected take your pen tool and the next furthest thing besides the background is probably going to be this building back here. So I'll go into 100% and just kind of, you know, draw. And it's okay if you overlap like this because we'll have things on top of that layer. So basically just something like that. Okay, so that's that back layer, right? And now we'll make another new solid. And just change color, shouldn't matter. Turn the eye off, have it selected with your pen tool. And the next closest thing, hmm, I would say maybe this tank right here. So let's kind of draw that. And you can always adjust these later, but I'm showing you what what's going on. Okay, so that's good. Another new layer. And then, so, just do this for pretty much any kind of, uh, you know, wall or something you have that you want. <coughs> um, every different wall. So, I'm going to fast forward this part, and I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright, so this is probably the most time-consuming part of the, to the uh, tutorial. Um, especially if you want to make your masks uh, super perfect, you know. And uh, we got one last thing we got to take care of the guy. So we'll go to when it s uh, slows down right about here. And we'll make a new solid. Just make it white. <coughs> Turn it off, have it selected. And just kind of draw around the guy. I'm just doing this pretty fast, but uh, when you get to it, you might want to make it pretty good. 
All right, so once we have that, push MM, select the keyframe for the path, move forward to about the end, and set a keyframe, and then just kind of uh, adjust the points. You know, so I can let's see, nope. If I select the mask, nope. What the hell? No. Whatever. I'll just move the points, okay? I know you can just highlight multiple points, but it's not working right now. So I'm just kind of move these in, kind of fix it. And then uh, the mask should animate to his body. So that's not too bad. And uh, if I turn everything back on, this is what we have, basically. A bunch of solids. Just kind of representing uh, our scene. Okay? And now what we need to do is turn this into a grayscale that uh, can represent distance and stuff. So what we're going to do is... Uh, Generate ramp, and uh, for this effect, you normally want to be like right next to a wall or the floor. That's why we got down on this, yeah, the roof makes it look really nice. So we'll start with that. Put it on this uh, pink solid, and the uh, the white is going to be closest to us, and then the gray because it's going to represent, you know, far away. And now this blue solid back here, we can just use a fill and uh, blue solid that needs to be a little bit darker than this edge so I'll sample from that and then just tune it just a tiny bit darker see that okay how about this guy here take a fill on the white solid and we'll sample from the floor he is at right there so kinda matches that uh, we'll set a ramp on the dark purple solid on the side dark magenta and then so the white the right side needs to be kind of white so pick a point here pick a point over here and uh, you want to sample from the ground right here so this is kinda that and this is kinda that color and uh, we might make this just a little bit brighter so there's a kind of a difference yeah, it's not too bad. Kind of close. Maybe make this back a little bit darker. That color. Maybe like that. Yeah, looks good. Okay, so how about this orange solid? Uh, put a ramp there. And uh, I'm probably just gonna fast forward this part too because uh, this is it's pretty repetitive right here. So. Um. Yeah, I'm going to fast forward. Peace. Okay, so what we got here is like a little grayscale <coughs> of, of everything. And it doesn't look too bad. It's kind of messed up on the masks. But um, black needs to represent the furthest. White needs to be really close up and that doesn't look too bad so what we'll do is we'll go back into this original comp and we'll turn off the depth of map we don't need to see it and we'll go and look for lens blur drag that onto your main clip and wait for it to load this is a very slow plugin it uh... <coughs> takes a long time to render and we'll change the depth mat to depth mat the one that we made and it's going to use the luminance as, you know, to calculate the distance and how much blur. So if we kind of increase this amount to like, I don't know, 30, you can kind of see what's going on here. You can see uh, the background is in focus and then this is not. And we can change the uh, blur focal distance. So uh, something like this. So yeah, so this is kind of in focus, background's not, and the ground looks pretty sexy. We can repeat edge pixels. And that's how you get this nice depth of field that you can adjust the distance, you know, to different shapes like a pentagon. 
you can um, change some uh, specular threshold. That just gives us a little bit of brightness. See, like, it might be too much, but you can kind of see that. Um, and that's that's about it. You can uh, adjust a bunch of stuff. I think it's pretty cool. And uh, one more thing, uh, uh, this effect can also give you. A lot of people do this, or I mean, uh, a lot of people who have tutorials show this. Take a depth mat and let's make a new solid. Uh, we'll make it white. And uh, first, let me put some color correction really quick. Watch this. Get some curves. And I'm just going to darken it. And let's see here. I'm going to make it blue. Like nighttime almost. And then for the white solid, put that underneath your depth mat and change the uh, track mat to. Let's see, Luma mat? No, Luma inverted. And what this can do is kind of simulate fog. So the further away, the more fog you're going to have. So check that out, you guys. Pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. But uh, yeah, we got the blur. So depth mat. Um, any questions, let me know. And please post a video response if you have to. Oh, one more thing. You can uh, feather your masks if you need to, make them a lot better, like smooth out this one and stuff, because you don't want uh, you don't want sharp sharp stuff going on when you have blur. So pretty cool. Let me know how it goes, and like the video. Check out my second channel, Baker's Tuts, and uh, that's about it. Peace, guys.